just play something? Choir, you and you all can come down. Today we were going to talk about being lost and found. And I'm not going to preach the full message, but I believe that the scripture is very important. Luke 15, verse 6, 8, and 24 all has a similarity here. It says in verse 6, And when he comes home, he calls together his friends, his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I found my sheep which was lost. Then if you go on down to verse 8, it says, Or what woman, having ten silver coins... If she loses one coin, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it. Then down into verse 24, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Each of these situations, we see a similarity here that something was lost, but then it was found. And once it was lost and they found whatever it was they were looking for, there was a celebration in the house when they found what was lost. And I think what Jesus is trying to tell us is that he's not ever going to give up whenever you're lost. He's not ever going to give up whenever something is missing. He's not ever going to give up whenever that one thing, even if it's you, if it's me, if it's a coin, if it's a sheep, if it's a son or a daughter, he's not going to give up until he finds what it is that he's looking for. He's going to sweep some some things up. He's going to stir some things up. He's going to allow us to see that no matter what he's got to do to find us, that he's going to find us. No matter where he's got to go, he's going to go. No matter what he's got to move, he's going to move. If he's got to sweep under the chair, if he's got to sweep under the refrigerator to find that coin, he's going to find that coin. And this morning, he, you need to know that he's looking for you. You need to know that he's going to tear some things up until he gets to you. That he's going to tear some churches up. He's going to tear some homes up. He's going to tear whatever is he's got to tear up he's going to tear it up until he finds you and he's not giving up until you come home he's not giving up until you come back because he wants to know that you are lost but you can be found you once knew your way you walked away but now he wants you to know you're in the place to be found you're in the place to come back home you're in the place that he wants you to be it doesn't matter what mess you're in right now it doesn't matter where you've been what house you've been staying at what you've had up your nose what you've had in your arms what you've had in your drink. It doesn't matter what gutter you've been in, what mud you've been laying through. It doesn't matter what hog pen you've been sleeping in. Jesus wants you to know that he's looking for you today. He wants you to come just as you are. He wants you to come in the condition you're in. He wants you to come in the mess. He wants you to come in the mud. He wants you to come in the straw. He wants you to come in the stench. He wants you to come in the stink. He wants you to come in the filth. He wants you to come drugged. He wants you to come drunk. He wants you to come as a prostitute. He wants wants you to come exactly where you're at right now. He's looking for you. He wants to find you and he wants you to come home right where you're at right now. I believe that we just need to get up on our feet and praise the Lord for he's bringing the lost people home. If you're lost here this morning, if you don't know your way right now, Jesus is calling out to you. He's crying out to you. Come home, my son. Come home, my daughter. Right where you're at right now, Jesus is trying to tell you that he wants you to come home. Right where you're at right now, Jesus is saying, come out of that. Come back home. Bring out that lost, that son, that daughter. Bring out of that pig pen. Bring out of that mud. Bring out of that mire. Get out of that. Whatever it is that's lost in your house right now, I can guarantee you, you'd be looking for it until you found it. Whatever it is, you need to move out of the way to find that lost coin in your house. Whatever it is, you need to move out of that way. Bring it back this morning to this place, this altar, and allow Jesus to put it back, the pieces that were broken, to put back the hope where the hopelessness is, to put back everything that the devil has stolen. I believe in 2014, this is our year to go back into the enemy's camp and say, devil, you've had my stuff long enough. It was lost but it's now found. It was taken, but I'm taking it back. What the devil stole from me is rightfully mine, and I want it back 
and I'm coming to get it no matter what you think, no matter what my neighbor thinks about me, no matter what my husband thinks about me, no matter what my wife thinks about me, no matter what my church thinks about me, that I'm coming back, I'm getting my stuff back, and I'm taking back what is mine in 2014. Devil, you just get behind us because we are not going to be defeated. No heating issues, no snow, no rain, no floods, nothing that comes against us is going to keep us from coming into this house this year and proclaiming that Jesus wants to get the lost and he wants them to be found. That's your family, that's my family, that's your neighbor, that's my neighbor, that's this community, that's your community. We are going in and we are going to find the lost and we're making them found this year. That's what Jesus wants. He wants us to go into the highways and the hedges and compel those that are lost and he wants us to bring them in to his house and get us ready for what he wants to do this year and he wants you to know that no matter what it takes he's not going to stop looking he's not going to stop trying to find he's not going to stop until he gets you back or gets that person back or gets your family member back or gets your love lo your lost loved one back he's not going to stop and we should not stop either until we decide that they are here with us they are saved they are delivered. They are set free. And I can tell you right now, if you're here and you're lost, Jesus is looking for you. He's looking for you right now where you're at. He's looking. He's looking through each seat, each heart right now. He's examining every heart right now. He's looking in and he's saying, son, daughter, what's your condition? You know, we can fool the pastor. We can fool our husbands. We can fool our wives. We can fool our moms, our dads, our grandparents. But you cannot fool Jesus. Because Jesus knows what you do 24-7. There's no hiding it from Jesus. You can hide it from me. You can come in here with your arms up and be praising God and be jumping and dancing and speaking in tongues and rolling in the floor. But go back out and live like the devil. So Jesus knows. Jesus knows where you're at. And he doesn't care if you come in here on Sunday and do that. Right now he's looking for you. He don't care if you put on a show for the last 10 years. He's looking for you. He doesn't care what your condition has been. He wants to take you where he wants to put you. Because I believe the word of God says that what he places in your life is irrevocable. Those gifts and those callings that maybe you once was this. And now you think you can never be that again because of the mess that you've been through. But I can tell you if you want to trust God, he's looking for you this morning. He wants to draw that out of you. He wants to bring that back out of you. He wants to lift you up and rise you up and put you in a place like you've never been before. He he wants to make you more than what you were before you left him. He wants to make you more than what you were before you lost track. He wants to make you more than what you were before you were lost. He is looking for you, and he wants the lost to be found in this place this morning. As we give an altar call, come to Jesus. As we give an altar call, I know we've had people coming all morning, and that's great. That's exactly what we want. We want this place to be shaken. We don't want a same old, same old church. We don't want just to sing four songs, have a message, and go home type of church. If that's what you're looking for, there's the door because we are not it. Okay? We are not that place. If that's what you're looking for, then you're at the wrong place this morning because we want the Holy Spirit to move in this place like he's never moved before. We're tired of what the devil has taken from us last year, the year before, the year before, and we're here to tell you that Jesus is coming back to place those sayings that were lost, and he's going to place them back in our lives. He's taking that spirit that we once had, and he's elevating it to even more than what we've ever had, but we got to be willing in our hearts hearts, Christians, you got to be willing to say, I give up. I'm tired of trying to do it on my own. I'm tired of trying to live on my own. I'm tired of trying to just do things my way. I'm saved. I'm ready to go to heaven, but I want more of Jesus. Anybody here want more of Jesus? Anybody here want more of Jesus? Well, Jesus is saying, all of us have a little bit of lost in our life. <clears throat> all of us have a little bit of lost in our life. And this morning he's saying, come home. Come get it fixed. Come get it revived in your life. Church, I know revival is about to break loose in God's house. 
the revival is about to break loose because he wants to do something like he's never done before. Thank you. I can tell you right now that Jesus wants to move in this place. Right now, Jesus... He wants to come in and do something like he's never done before, but I can promise you he's not going to do it as long as we're doing the same thing that we done last week. He's not going to do it as long as we're doing the same thing that we tried to do last year. He wants to do something new in 2014. And the devil has tried his hardest to stop us. He's tried his hardest to stop you. He's tried his hardest to stop you. And it's time that we say, devil, you're not got us any longer. We're moving forward. We're going strong. We're going to take the enemy by storm. And we're coming to take back what we once lost. And it's coming back into the rightful place. This morning, saved and unsaved alike, backslidden, wherever you're at, if you want more of Jesus, if you want something that's lost in your life and your spirit to be recovered, then hit this altar this morning and cry out to God and say, I want it back. I'm coming to take back what the enemy has stolen from me. I'm coming to take back my lost loved one. I'm coming to take back my finances. I'm coming to take back my health. I'm coming to take back whatever it is that the devil's trying to steal from you right now. Come back and get it. Come back and say, it's mine, Lord. I'm coming home to get it. Come on. There should be more than one person at this altar this morning. There's, this place should be full of people saying, I'm tired of the devil stealing from me. I'm tired of the devil taking from me. I'm tired of the devil trying to take my belongings, my stuff, my anointing, my spirit. I'm tired of him taking my joy. I'm coming back to get what is rightfully mine. It's mine, and I want it back this morning. Come on, people are coming. Come on, Jesus wants to give it back to you. Come on, he's coming. Come on, he wants to give it back to you this morning. It's yours. Come take it back. Say, devil, it's mine. I want it back. Come on. I want it back. I want it back. Jesus wants to give it to you this morning. Jesus wants to give you that spirit that you once had. He wants to give you that fire that you once had. He wants to give you that anointing that you once had. But you got to come back and say, devil, it's mine, and I'm taking it back. It was lost, but it's now 